I'm Brittany Lewis with Forbes Breaking News. Joining me now is Bhavani Patel, who is challenging Congresswoman Summer Lee in the Democratic primary. Bhavani, thank you so much for joining me today. Of course, absolutely. I'm very excited to be with you, uh, with you today. I do want to start off by listing some things on your resume. You have a business background. You are co-founder and CEO of Beam Data. Currently, you're on the Edgewood Borough Council. So let's start at the beginning. What propelled you to leap into politics? Yeah, so Western Pennsylvania is home, right? Uh, I grew up in Monroeville. I went to Gateway K through 12. Uh, my family is originally from India. So my mom raised my brother and I as a single parent. And before landing in Monroeville, you know, we moved around quite a bit. Um, and it wasn't easy, right? She worked a lot of different odd jobs, working in the restaurant industry as a motel, as a dishwasher, working in the motel industry, uh, cleaning motel rooms. And then she eventually found Monroeville and started a small catering business, supplying uh, samosas and rotis to the uh, local convenience store here. And that eventually transitioned into a small business. Um, so she opened up a food truck on Pitt's campus. And I grew up working in that food truck, everything from uh, running the serving window to helping out on the weekends with uh, caterings and things like that. And, um, you know, one thing led to another. And being on that campus, I eventually figured maybe I can be a student at Pitt. And so I attended the University of Pittsburgh, got my undergraduate there and uh, became the first in my family to graduate from college and then went on to get my master's at Oxford in international relations. And so after two years abroad, I uh, came straight back home and sort of delved deeply into public service. And that's where I started my company, which is focused on civic engagement, um, you know, ran and won my election to Edgewood Borough Council, and since then have been involved heavily on various different local boards, um, including the Master of Quantitative Economics Board at the University of Pittsburgh, serving on the Pennsylvania Medical Marijuana Advisory Board. And so for me, you know, it's always been a theme about just being uh, present in the community, uh, being in touch with the concerns of uh, of my neighbors and finding a way to problem solve. And so I come up in my public service career through local government. And so, you know, having this sort of granular approach to the day-to-day -day challenges of individuals, I mean, that's really important to me. So let's fast forward then to 2022. You briefly ran for Congress. What did you learn from that experience? Uh, so that was a, a remarkable experience. One thing that became very clear to me is that uh, people are uh, excited about um, young, dynamic leadership. They want somebody who is present in the community, somebody who's willing to show up, somebody who's committed to actually delivering on key concerns that we have in this region, including bringing home federal dollars, federal investments. And, you know, ultimately, you know, my story really is uh, truly emblematic of the American dream. I don't think that there's any other part of this uh, in this country where my story would be possible, my family's story being possible. And so to me, that's something that's very special. It's something that I've continued to exemplify throughout uh, the work that I've done in this region. And so uh, here we are today sort of spreading that same message and meeting with neighbors and having those conversations. I want to talk more about that American dream, your business background in a little bit, but now you're running in 2024 or for 2024 rather, did you change strategies at all this time around? No, I mean, it's just been the same thing, right? Talking about uh, key issues and concerns that we have in this region, which means again, showing up. I think people are looking for a type of leadership that's rooted in uh, the core values of being a Democrat, right? Focusing on gun violence prevention, focusing on advocating for reproductive justice, uh, supporting our LGBTQ communities, uh, amplifying and sort of uh, providing support structures for the backbone of our economy, which is small businesses, bringing home federal dollars so that we can invest them into our research universities here to drive conversations around uh, climate change and renewable energy.